Hi, everybody. This is Tanya from Tango Business Coaching. Welcome to day 10 of our 30 day leadership challenge. So, today we are going to talk about well being and balance, and those being the cornerstone of fantastic and great self leadership. The ability to be able to take good care of yourself and balancing all of the important pieces of your life. And unfortunately for many of us, uh, we prioritize work and career over everything else that's important to us. And as time goes on, that leads to regrets, you know, regrets because you're missing out on all the things, you know, you're missing out on your children's events and concerts and sporting events, and you're missing out on time with your friends or, you know, seeing a concert or, you know, running or go doing the marathon or going to the gym or whatever it is, all of those really, really important parts of your life that you wind up regretting because you miss out on it over not balancing all these important pieces in a, in a great way for you. It can also lead to burnout, right? So we've seen that a lot over the last uh, couple of years, this over exhaustion because you were so committed to one part of your life rather than balancing it out. So that certainly was one of the benefits of the pandemic was really awakening um, well-being and balance, just being a real necessity in life. So when you think about your life, what are the important pieces? You know, certainly career, of course, <laughs> that seems to be everybody's top priority because of the financial piece, usually, okay, not always. Some people are very mission-based and love the work that they do. But for the most part, you know, you can love what you do, but you're working the 80 hours because you want to make sure your finances are secure. So taking a really good look at your financial situation and how it supports your life uh, could be a really good use of your time to benefit that, you know, to balance all of that out. Sorry. Um, what about your health? How are you focusing on your health? Uh, whether that's your physical health or your mental uh, fitness, what practices do you have in place to balance all of that out? Uh, your personal relationships, so your family and your friends, those closest to you, how do you make sure that is taken care of in your life? Um, what about hobbies? You know, what hobbies do you have and how do you how do you make sure that that fits in? Maybe there's something new you've always wanted to try, but you just don't have the time for it. Being able to get out of your workspace and do something different and creative uh, or moving your body, I mean, that can really help you actually integrate the information going on from your uh, left side of your brain and download so that, you know, it gives you the time to actually integrate the and learn the lessons that you've been trying to learn. Um, home life, social life, time management. There's all kinds of pieces here that um, you can consider. There, and there may be something else here that I'm not thinking about. So take a good look at all of the components and see how you could balance it differently and better for you. So for today's challenge, I actually struggled today with what the best challenge could be because there's, there's really a lot of really awesome ways to gain some insight and create action around this. But I think in the end, the starting point to all of this is building awareness around what those important pieces are for you. So today, I want you to do the obituary exercise. So I'm sure you've seen this one before or heard of this one before. And I know it sounds a little bit morbid, but the clarity that you can create um, on what's really important to you really shines through on this exercise. So I, I, I want you to imagine <laughs> that it's your funeral and you get to write your own obituary. So in this ideal scenario, what would you want it to say? What do you want to be known for? What's important to you? And then once you get a clear picture of your future self, take a look at where you are today. What's the gap? How close are you to the vision of your future? Is it a small gap? Is it a big gap? 
So really take a look at your starting point, which is today, and the end game, which is what you wrote for your obituary, and take a look at how you can start closing the gap. What is one small step forward so you can start working toward that future vision of yourself? So that's your challenge for today. Again, this is all about self-leadership. The more that you show up for yourself and the more that you start living your life fully, the more you can stand for those who are around you. So I know this is a tough one. You're probably going to have to spend a bit of time with this one. So take, you know, 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. It's not going to take too long, but, you know, spend some good quality time thinking about this one because it is important. So good luck with this challenge. Let me know how it went for you. Um, Of course, in the comments, write in the comments, send me a a message, whatever. If you need that 30-day challenge tracker, if you haven't got it yet, um, message me. Happy to send that over to you. So good luck with today's challenge. And